Hello, Captains, and welcome to Let's Play Star Trek Online Romulan Faction 2018 Tactical Character. This is a Reman, and in the last mission, we did Yasko Blues, and we um, tried to free some colonists, had a little tiff with the Tal Shiar, and now it's time for the next mission. We are at Lieutenant 9 already, almost to 10, so we're moving along very quickly. Since the last mission, I haven't really done anything different. Um, I sold some of the stuff I had in my inventory, and that's about it. So I got a few more energy credits, and that's about all. So now we are up to the search for a new Romulus. Timur needs help searching for a new homeworld. Will you find the right planet for your people? Thanks to additional information from the colonists from Gasco and Helix, we've managed to identify several possible systems that could have planets for our colonization efforts. We'll need you to scan these systems, see if there is a suitable planet, and then explore said planet to confirm your findings. You're looking for what will be the future homeworld for the Romulans. We've also been told by Federation and Klingon officials that Toxin of Alliance could begin if we identify a suitable planet to colonize. Detan and I will be speaking with those officials while you're exploring. This could be the next big step in our fight for independence. Scan systems in the Beta Quadrant for habitable planets. We will get Personal Shield Mark II, a uh, console Directed Energy Distribution Manifold, which is beam weapon damage, and we'll get to choose from one of the following, Plasma Dual Beam Bank 2 or Plasma Dual Cannon 2. The Toshiar is advancing on our allies. Now, the thing to note is right now at Lieutenant, we can use up to Mark II gear. But once we hit Centurion at level 10, which is just right around the corner after this mission, we will be level 10, uh, we can use up to Mark IV items. So already the rewards are going to be just a little bit less than we can actually use at the next level. Um, also, after this mission and after we hit level 10, I will be doing, you know, a ship upgrade and all, and I'll probably do a, be doing a video on it. Not quite sure if I'll be doing a video on doing, you know, unpacking the ship and that sort of thing and making it all in one video, or if I'll do it off screen and then show you what I've done. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to handle that just yet in terms of a video, but for right now, let's do this and then I'll figure that out afterwards because at level 10 after this mission, we get to do a whole ship upgrade thing. All right, let's go scan the Galondon Core system. Galondon Core system. And where would that be? Well, that's way over here. So this is going to be our last mission with the Tavaro. And so I am glad I made the decision several missions back to go ahead and use the Tavaro because it very it has a very limited amount of time that you actually use it. I mean, after the tutorial, we were already level 6. And at level 10, we get another ship. So this was just a very small window we had to use this little ship. But I do like it. Um, it is very a very nice starter ship for the game. Let's see, we are going up to warp 5.56 right now. One thing that the Romulan faction lacks compared to the Federation faction is um, earlier ships, ship types. So for example, when we hit Centurion, which is level 10, which would be a lieutenant, lieutenant commander, I think, in um, the Federation faction, you have more ship options at that level. For example, you have an escort type ship, a cruiser type ship, and a science type ship on the Federation. However, on the Romulan side, you don't have those options. You just get like one ship type, just one ship at, the, at our next level. There is, there is not a specific escort type ship or a cruiser type ship or a science type ship for Romulans. And I don't like that because for this character, I really do want to fly small, nimble 
escort type ships. But obviously I cannot. If it doesn't offer me those ships, I can only use what it's got. And if it's just a big, slow cruiser kind of ship, like a Dederodex or something, then that's all I can do. And so I, I just find that the Romulan side is a little limited in ships when you're at earlier levels of the game. Now, as you are like tier five and tier six, we'll have a lot more ship options. But for right now, any level that's below, you know, Vice Admiral <laughs> on Romulan side is very limited to the types of ships that you can fly. So even if you want to fly a small nimble ship, you really don't have the option to. So I find that just a little limiting. I wish they would give us some more standard ships uh, at each level with the Romulan side. A specific escort or science or cruiser type Romulan ship that you could choose to fly. I would love those options. But we'll go over that when we do the ship up upgrade and I'll show you in the store what's available as far as ships go. So it did take us quite a while to get over here, but we are finally arriving. Alright, initiating scan now. Preliminary reports are turning up negative, Captain. We could perform a more in-depth scan, but that could take nearly a week. Launching a satellite would allow us to monitor the area and move forward. Your orders? Launch the satellite, let's continue on. Now we gotta make a turn all the way back around and go to the Gamma Aridon system. Pretty much just system hopping right now. Let's see, and as far as energy credits go, I'm up to five, a good old five, a big old 5,000. Yeah, not a lot. I'm still using some Mark I stuff here. I don't know, I didn't mean to have that in there. Yeah, do not want. As far as, like I said, ship customization and all that, go, I'm going to go for a cannon build on this character. Probably going to go with Plasma for right now. It just seems logical, being Romulan, Riemann, all that. Down the road, I have no idea what I'll end up being my final build on this character, but I'm going to start with Plasma. It's just a good thing to start with. Okay, scan. We can't get a clear reading from the planet that Tamer specified. Our best option will be to drop out of warp and investigate the area. Yep, go for it. And another long load time, of course. Right. ships dead ahead they were jamming our sensors that's why we couldn't get a clear reading on this area it's an ambush they're hailing us probably to gloat pirates like these only care about scrapping the ship for parts and selling any survivors to the orions should i open the channel well naturally my character omega is gonna say i'm not interested in talking red alert
Where's the next group? I'm ready for them. Okay, there's a lot of them. It's not Tall Shiar, it's the Nausicans. What's next? Iconians? Ha ha, funny funny. We were able to get a few scans of the planet during combat. It's no good. The wildlife is too hostile and the natural resources too few. That leaves us with one last system. The Dewa system. Dewa 3 shows some promise. We can leave orbit whenever you're ready. I have a feeling that this is the one. So yeah, when we hit 10 here, we're going to get a new ship, new trait slot, Permission to buy next rank of ships, unlock transwarp, and unlock PvP. So, ton of stuff. And then at 11, the duty officer system. And then at 12, brace for impact. So, we got a lot of good things to look forward to here. Now, I technically could keep using this ship past level 10. Eventually, it starts losing its usefulness as it is only limited to ensign bridge officer powers in space. But I could, but I'm actually not. I'm going to go ahead and use the next level of ship because, well, I, I, I have access to it. I want to use them. I spent the money on all these ships, so I'm going to use every single one of them. <laughs> We're going to experience it the best we can. Have the best experience at every level. That's my goal. And again, we are playing on advanced difficulty, so it is harder anyway. We have confirmation of a suitable planet. I'm patching us through to Tamer now. He want an update on the situation. I'll connect you as soon as you're ready. That was abrupt. Open a channel. Excellent work. You should head to Daywa 3 and set up some orbital probes. Then beam down and investigate the surface. I'll set a course to the Daywa system and keep an eye out for any more Nausicans. Daywa 3 is one of our last chances to find a habitable planet in this region. Good luck. Daywa 3. This could be the new Romulan homeworld. The radiation levels of this planet made it uninhabitable. But long-range surveys have detected drops in the toxicity over the past few years. Our orders are to deploy sensory probes to scan the planet. And, if they return positive, beam down for a closer look. Okay. That we can do. One of three. One more. Uh-oh. Warning. Ship is under attack.
hope that's the last we've seen of them. The reports from the probes confirm that radiation levels have lowered on the planet. An away team without protective gear should be safe. There don't seem to be any civilizations down there either, but we'll have to beam down to explore the area further. Are you ready to transport? There are several teams that will beam down to other parts of the planet while we explore. Sure, let's go. I got my whole bridge officer team this time. Wow. Look at this place. It's beautiful. Our orders from Tamer are to analyze the local wildlife, flora, and minerals, as well as any bit of radiation. All right, so basically, this is a scan mission. We're just going to go through and scan a lot of things here. A lot of things. <laughs> yeah, this is going to take a while. Well, guys, this part of the game is probably going to be a little boring, but got to get through it. There's just going to be a lot of scanning right now. As you can see, we have to get up to 100% on that and then two more of that. So this is going to take a while. This plant displays remarkable similarity to plants once found on Romulus. Fascinating. The water is barely tainted by the planet's radiation. Creatures are fascinating. Forty percent seem to absorb the radiation around them. The high amount of lead in these rocks could be the reason for the lowered radiation levels. Forty 
Fifty percent. We have to stop the Tal Shiar. Um. This is Tamir. I've arrived at the outer rim of the planet. I'll be keeping a watch on any Tal Shiar or Nascon signals. How is the initial search going down there? Um, it's choosing to decide. We'll contact you when we're finished. This planet's amazing. The planet's fairly wild, but it may be habitable. Yeah, it's fairly wild, but it may be habitable. Sure. Hmm. It would be best to reserve judgments until we have full picture of the planet. Take your time down there and make sure nothing is overlooked. We can't have any doubt in declaring this our new home world. Detecting ancient and dilapidated structures nearby. Seventy percent. There's crazy ambient sounds in this thing. Seventy five. Ooh, ninety. Look at these tall things. Ninety five. Alright, finally we got 100% of that stuff, but we're still missing a radiation. I guess it's down there. I think I've come to a dead end. It led me to a dead end. I just don't want to miss this last scan we have to do wherever it's at a lot of wildlife but I don't really want to have to fight them either
Not exactly sure if I'm going the right way, but I think I am. These are some of those ruins that we were talking about at the beginning. Or earlier. There are some interesting ruins here. I guess we have to head back this way. I'm trying to get over here. I think this is where the last radiation scan is. It's a big open area. Feels like a ripe place for shooting people. Okay, I think we're going the right way now. We should investigate that old bridge nearby when we're done with our scans. <laughs> sure, yeah. A bridge. Great. Let's do this radiation scan. Got him. All right. Observe the ancient bridge. What's that? A bridge. Tholians. <laughs> oh, Tholians. What are they doing That's here? That's right. Tholians. Just what we needed. Tholians are known for not caring very much about us humanoids. I don't think they even know the difference between a Romulan and a Reman. The ship isn't detecting any more Tholian ships in orbit, but with our luck, that'll change. We should see what those Tholians are after. If this is going to be our planet, they can't take it from us. Well, unless they were here first, and it's their planet. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go fight Tholians, I guess. This is a big, long mission. Ooh, look, see, Varel has damage. See, this is what I have to watch on advanced mode. The fact that my bridge officers and myself can take damage and already they've taken damage and I didn't even know it so I've got to keep on the lookout it's something new for me since I've never played all of these missions on advance before I've never played the game from start to finish on advance so I gotta keep an eye out for these um, these combat stress things and all that and I'm gonna have to heal her I'm probably gonna have to invest in healing sticks or whatever you have to have to heal your bridge officers and stuff on the ground healing sticks <laughs> I like that healing stick yep so that's going to be new for me I'm going to have to use energy credits to buy those things And I think I can heal them while I'm at the station. There should be a doctor or something to heal them, right? Up where I don't have to actually spend a healing thing on them. Uh, we'll see. The metallic substance is what we want. The sign of the lost civilization. Trespassers, you will die before taking what is ours. Here we go. We're going to fight some Tholians. This could be a little difficult. Especially since I'm on advance. The Tholian seemed interested in those rocks back there. Should we check it out? Absolutely. So yeah, I'm definitely... Uh, luckily I have... I believe Satra is healing me right now. But I will definitely... Yeah, she's healing me with medical tricorder. So I'm definitely going to have to have a healer playing on advanced mode. Going to have to have a constant healer with me on the ground. Watch out! 
More Tholians inbound. Well, my hordas are not working. More on the way, sir. Why are they so interested in this site? May not be able to use hordas on the Romulan faction. No that's idea. A, we'll find a, out once we have a second. Or at least the hordas I have. That's a shame. I'm going to need more powerful weapons for sure. One more group inbound, and it looks like they're sending one of their commanders. Oh, that's not good. Also, I want this loot. Take out the ensign first. Yeah, we got a commander. Take out the, um, the weaker ones first. Then we can all concentrate on him. Yeah, he's definitely uh, hard. Thank you for healing me. I need lots of heals. Crap. The Tholians wanted whatever is buried in those rocks. Let's see what's beneath them. I can definitely feel it being more difficult on advance now. With the Tholians. I am going to have to keep up with my weapon upgrades for sure. Make sure I have the latest mark level of weapon. Scan odd geode. There appears to be a sword fossilized in the secretion layer. Trying to scan it now. Wait, this is incredible. There's definitely a blade here, and its composition and size match those of Vulcan blades from about 1900 years ago. There are only a few examples of those weapons left. Most of them were destroyed during the time of awakening. Let's open a channel to Tamir to tell him about our findings and the Tholians. The Toshyar is advancing on our allies. Greetings, Lieutenant. What have you found? Interesting. The sword could prove to be something unbelievable, maybe even something made by Sherian. I'm concerned about the Tholians and beginning a full scan for any other ships in orbit. Who is Sherian? Sherian was the greatest Vulcan weaponsmith who ever lived. He loved war and created marvelous swords for the greatest warriors. After talking to Surak, however, he renounced all violence and never made another blade. Three of his swords were taken by our people when they left Vulcan. Two were lost during the journey, and the third, as far as we know, it was lost with the homeworld. But if there's a sword from Sherian's era here, and other signs of habitation, this could be the sword of the Raptor Star, one of the missing swords. There was an expedition out in this region looking for it a few decades ago. But as far as I know, they never found anything. Maybe we've succeeded where they failed. Do you really think this could be the sword of the Raptor Star? Anything is possible, but it will take a very long time to confirm it if this is true or not. This could simply just be an old sword from a past civilization that lived here and nothing more. Regardless, I prefer to hold out hope that this is somehow tied to us. Perhaps it is my pride simply getting in the way. Understood. Should we contact Atan about this? Yes, we should. Hold on, we're under attack. It's the Tholians! Go to red alert. All hands prepare for battle. How many are there? I don't trust the Tal Shiar. Tamir has closed the channel, sir. I'll have the geode and blade transported to the science lab immediately. We should return to the ship as soon as possible. Let's go. I love the Sword of the Raptor Star storyline. Very cool idea, you know, the time when the uh, Romulans broke away from the Vulcans. 
We managed to take out a few Tholian ships, but now we're trapped within one of their webs. There are more Tholians on the way. You've got to take out the Tholians. Here we go. Woohoo! Now that is some experienced piloting right there. I love that. We have to stop the Tal Shiar. We don't have time to relax, however. I'm picking up a large Tholian ship leaving warp. Get ready, the Tholians have some of the most advanced technology in the quadrant, and they never back down. We'll need to work together to survive. Well, this is gonna be hard <laughs> with my little ship here and the Tholians. Hopefully we'll get some reinforcements. I was dying, I had to cloak, I had no choice. I'm almost dead. Yeah, this is hard on advanced. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I'm dead. I'm dead. That's it. I'm dead. I am almost had them. I was so close. Look at that. So close. Wow. Tell you what, guys. I'm gonna tell you what. Advanced difficulty is now no joke. I mean, taking on the Tholians was difficult, as you saw, and that blew me up. <laughs> so yeah, advanced difficulty is no joke. Excellent work. What'd you find? Um, explain your findings. By the elements, a habitable planet and one of Sharian's lost blades. That could only mean that this planet must be one of the worlds our ancestors visited after the sundering. I knew that uh, I knew that their path could have taken them in this area, but I never. I'll have to speak to Mivak. She's always had an interest in our history. You should get to the flotilla and speak to Detan. He'll want to know everything you found. The game is getting harder and harder now, definitely. Okay, go to. The, it actually wants us to go specifically to the flotilla this time, so I'm going to do that. Because I need to anyway, because I'm going to be doing the whole ship upgrade thing. Because once we turn this mission in, we will be uh, Centurion. So this is the last look at Tavaro, everybody. Say goodbye to it. It's been a good, fun ship. Nice little ship, but it is time for an upgrade, as we just saw with the Tholians. We definitely need an upgrade. It's gonna get harder.
We're going to go to Deton, speak to him. Here we go. Jolan True, you found something incredible. This will be the new home of the Romulan Republic. It will be Mole Rehan, new Romulus, and we will create a new way of life there. This is exactly what we needed to begin talks with the Klingons and the Federation at Kittimer. Unless you have any more questions, I would report to Tamer. I have many preparations to make. Boy, he sounds very excited. No, I'll go speak to Tamir. Or how does this impact the Federation Klingons? Or can you confirm... First, let's talk about the sword. Can you confirm the identity of the sword? We don't know yet. But we do know it is as old as the Sundering and uses materials like those of the Vulcan Swordmasters. So that narrows it down a bit. The Sundering tore our people apart. But it also unified the Romulans under a common cause. The preservation of our emotions and our freedom. If this is truly the sword of the Raptor Star, it could help to once again unify the Romulans under the cause of preserving the freedoms we hold dear. And how does this change things with the Federation and Klingons? We will need allies to help with the colonization. It's likely that the Federation will be willing to help with this. We also cannot settle on New Romulus without the goodwill of the Klingons, given how close we are to their space. If they would be willing to lend us a small portion of their military might, we would be safer from the Tal Shiar. After that, if Empress Sela continues her attacks, she will be doing it against a new civilization, not a band of rebels. That will make all the difference. Okay, understood. Alright, that is complete. Let's turn this into Tamir, and then you're we gonna have to stop the Tal Shiar. You're, you're gonna see a whole bunch of stuff happen here. I have new orders for you. Good work. I knew you were the right person for the job. It will take us a long time to analyze the sword you found. We have to be very careful with something like this, but even the possibility of fighting the sword of the Raptor Star has given everyone on the flotilla hope for the future. Your role isn't done yet, however. Natan and I both want you to be with us for the next task, meeting with the Federation Klingons and Empress Sela on Kittimer to talk about peace and the colonization of New Romulus. Okay, well, let's take our rewards now. Like I said, we are going to be going for cannons. So let's go ahead and take these plasma dual cannons. Congratulations, Centurion. There you go. A whole bunch of stuff just happened all at once. Uh, we're being held by Admiral Kararek. Congratulations. You've proven yourself to be invaluable to the Republic Navy and earned the respect of your fellow officers. Return to New Romulus. I would like to formally recognize your contribution to the Republic. This mission will provide access to a powerful free ship. The mission ahead of you will become more challenging. Missions ahead of you will become more challenging. The foes you'll face will be stronger as well. You now have access to a higher tier of gear, weapon, and ships. Um, thank you, Admiral. I'll return to New Romulus shortly. Let's close that. So we actually have a promotion now, which is go to New Romulus to actually physically become a centurion. I mean, we are already Centurion, but um, this is basically just a confirmation of that, and it gives us all these things here. So actually, we need to do the promotion before we get those things and before I can do the ship upgrade and everything. So I'm going to do that right now in this video. Let's go to New Romulus and go ahead and do the promotion so that we become a, a true Centurion level 10 and get all of our uh, stuff here. Then I can upgrade my ship. And we've got new skills, of course. I'm already up to um, already up to all the energy weapon training done and all the projectile weapon training done. Going for the weapon damage right now 
Okay. I want new Romulus. Where is new Romulus? Will it not give me access to new Romulus yet? Well, it should. I have new orders for you. It says go to new Romulus command. But I can't get into new Romulus. I see a problem with that. Do I have to accept the next mission before I can go down? Congratulations, you've proven yourself to be invaluable to the Republic, blah, blah, blah. Return to New Romulus. I would like to formally recognize your contribution probably this mission will write extra free ship. Oh, go to the shuttle bay. What? Go to the shuttle bay? Speak to Admiral Carrick, the command center. My, what? Huh? Go to the shuttle bay. What shuttle bay? Okay, now I'm thoroughly confused. My shuttle bay? Do I go on board my ship to my shuttle bay to get there or something? Some convoluted thing like that? So now I'm on board my ship. How do I get to my shuttle bay? I don't actually know. Maybe I have to do it from the flotilla? So confusing. Select. I don't want to select a small craft. <sighs> Go to shuttle bay. Where? What shuttle bay? Okay, now this part's confusing. If you don't know, if you're new to the game, I can see how this would be very confusing on what to do next. It says go to New Romulus, but then you can't. There is no New Romulus. Uh, maybe main level. I don't know where I'm going. I'm completely and utterly lost. This is my ship, which is apparently very large for a small ship. I don't know. This is not where I need to be. Maybe I need to go back to the flotilla and go to the shuttle bay from there? Because I'm at New Romulus and it ain't letting me go nowhere. The Toshiar is advancing on our ally. No. We're counting on you. That's literally the next mission. But I have nowhere to go. Okay, this is really confusing. It won't let me go to, to uh New Romulus. Maybe there's somewhere from the flotilla we can go? In the transporters? Beam to ship? Where's the shuttle bay on this thing? Are you the shuttle bay? Starship and shuttle requisitions, but... I don't want to get... I don't want to buy a shuttle. I don't want to select my ship. So here I am, a veteran of the game, and I can't even figure out where to go right now. That tells you that if I were a new player, I would be completely lost right now.
because I am completely lost right now. All I want to do is the promotion. Jolan True. You're is not. Is there something? You're not what I want. Alright, this is crazy. What in the world? Go to the shuttle bay. Watch shuttle bay. Where? Where is shuttle bay? I do need to um, actually go heal my bridge officers. Maybe that's something I can also do. Should be able to heal my bridge officers. Yeah, treat injuries. Satra is good. Three of four is good. Dovin is good. Varel, yeah, cure that. And Hyman, so nobody. Everybody's good now. Gotta remember to keep doing that. It's the assignment officer. I am absolutely lost. Why can't I figure this out? This is stupid. This should be simple. How do I get to that level where the commander of this station is at? Is it this way? You, tell me where to go. The Toshiar is advancing on our allies. We have to stop. I mean, I can accept the next mission, but I don't want to yet. Actually, now I can't drop it. It just says go to shuttle bay. What shuttle bay? Where is there a shuttle bay? Yeah, I, I'm I'm lost, guys. I mean, I'm really this is I'm having a hard time here. This is uh, not good. I'm a little embarrassed, to be honest with you. Like, I should know where to go, but I don't. Which is consumable. Customize my ship. That's where I can repair my ship if I need to. Jolan True, is there something Romulan? I don't know what to do. I have no idea what to do. Okay, what in the world? Chief Engineer, Centurion, 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 there's nothing here.
Hmm, I don't know what to do. That's the mission, which I don't want to do the next mission yet. I can't even drop it, it won't let me. But, I want to do this. Promotion. There's the new Romulus system. When I go there, it won't let me do anything. I think they have a bug. <laughs> I think they've got a major bug here with the system. Something is not adding up. Something is not working correctly. I cannot go I cannot go to New Romulus. I mean, I'm here, but it won't let me beam him down or do anything. I just can't do anything. I'm stuck. Go to shuttle bay. Now, I know that there should be a shuttle bay on my ship. It's a starship bridge. Somehow, some way. Let's explore a little in here. Let me go through all the options that I can possibly find. Uh, let's not go on the turbo lift just yet. Let's search around my bridge first. Account bank. Nothing in my office I can access. It's duty officers. No options here on the bridge, okay? Let's check. Nothing on the bridge I can do. Let's go to um, the engineering level again. And let's check out everything on this level. There's the Singularity Core. There's nothing to click on, nothing to do, nowhere I can go. Here's an interesting room. Again, nothing I can do in here. Here's the transporter room. I can select a small craft, which I don't really want to do. Nowhere to go here. Nothing here. So that was nothing. Let's go to the main level. There's sick bay. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. I think I know what the option means go to shuttle bay. I think it means go to New Romulus and go to the shuttle bay in New Romulus. Because there is a shuttle bay in New Romulus, but you have to be able to beam down to New Romulus before you can go to the shuttle bay there. But it's, I don't know why, it's not giving me the option to do that.
So if I don't have the option, what do I do? It's not going to be from inside my ship. It's I need to be on New Romulus and go to the shuttle bay. I don't know. I don't know what is going on. Why the game is not allowing me to do what I need to do. So... I've got no choice but to just move on without it. I think I've already got a free ship. Well, I don't need a free ship token because technically I have uh, the ships that I already purchased from the Z store with the pack. So even if I can't go to New Romulus for what I don't know what it, reason why it won't let me go to New Romulus, um, I should still be able to equip a new ship. Because it is level 10. So, what I'm going to do is... Um, I'll do this off camera so not to take up any more of your time. But I'm going to go back to the flotilla. I'm actually going to attempt to upgrade to the next ship before we do the next mission. And see if it will let me do that. If it will, great. If it won't, great. And I guess I'm going to skip the promotion. Yeah, I don't want to skip it, but I don't really have a choice. It's not letting me do anything else. Uh, so I, I don't know why. Not letting me go to New Romulus. I may not be able to till after I do Turning Point. Maybe that is the key that you have to do Turning Point or something before you can go to New Romulus. I don't know. But you shouldn't you sh I should be able to go there now but for whatever reason it's not working I don't know what's up and it bothers me <laughs> so I'm going to go do the whole ship upgrade thing and I cut when I come back in the next video hopefully I that's what I will have done come sex successfully and I will go over with what I did in the next video in terms of the ship upgrade. And then we will go do the next mission turning point. We'll just skip straight to the next mission turning point. Skip over the promotion thingy. And then hopefully, after we do turning point, maybe I'll be able to go back and do the promotion. We'll see what happens, because I don't know what's going on with the game. It's being weird. But I can tell you this much. If I was a new player to the game, I would be completely confused right now. And have no idea what to do. So cryptic, you got a bug here. You got a problem. Something with the storyline. I think my guess is the fact that we leveled up too quick. My guess is the game is leveling us up to level 10. Before we do the, the big mission turning point. Where you select your allies. your Who you're going to ally with. I think that mission is, is meant to be done before level 10 before you do that promotion level 10 but they've got some kind of leveling issue where it's leveling you above the level you should be for this mission and then hence you cannot actually go to new romulus yet because you haven't done the mission that opens up the access to new romulus yet get it so it's like i'm at the level where i could go to new romulus but i haven't done the mission that unlocks it so i'm i'm, I'm higher level than i should be for the mission and that can cause a lot of confusion for a new player who doesn't know what they're doing in the game. So, Cryptic, you got a problem here, you need to fix it. Anyway, I'm going to do some stuff off screen here and hopefully I can get this on track. So, stay tuned for the next one. Thank you for watching.